Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Morning, of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's your boy Calico Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. I'm starting this recording after almost directly after the last one, so if I'm still sounding a little bit frustrated, uh, that's gonna be why. I have unopened mail or parcels, post office. I'll be sure to do so. But first, we need to take care of Miss Sadie Adler's quest. Let's see what you got for me, lass. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, to the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. <laughs> what is that? What? What the hell have they done to me? What? Look, they in the tree line. Everybody take cover! What the fuck? Coming. What is that? Yo, Kieran was cool, you fucking bastards! Do I have any other guns? Hey! Hold your ground! That will do. They need help. Get down. Alright. Go on! I'm back to bitch! Damn crap! Come on, damn Driscoll! What's happening? Driscoll! Get up there! Hold in here. Stay away from the window. Get inside, fast! Come on, quick! Don't let anyone back through that door! There's a whole bunch over here. Wait. We're getting out of the world. Fall back to the house. Damn. Damn. Damn it. What in God's name is going on? Get them doors barricaded. That nearly hit me. Come on, guys. First, you might want to close the door. Come on, come on, fucking select him. 
That will do it. Sadie, I gotta go help him. Cover me. Where'd he at? There's a lady over here. Hold on. I got you, Sadie. Hold on. You wanted to prove yourself, didn't this you? This? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. We protect need Sadie. House, Who's Sam? gonna protect me? Oh, no, they don't. Ah! You'll die in this you. What we got? Come on. Fuck. Nice. No shit, they needed us like 20 minutes ago, dog. Head fuckers? You okay? Come on. Hold back. They was ready for us. Come on. Cowards. We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, Holy shit, I did not see that coming. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Colm O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. I wonder what made them, you know, take the fight to us this time around. And how did they catch Kieran slipping? I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Looks to me like she wants to prove herself. That was a bit foolish of her. I did not foresee this episode starting out this way. Morning, man. You all right, Reverend? Just trying to make sense of this. I'm scared. We'll be all right. Sure will be. All right, so is Dutch the only person that we can, you know, parlay with? Seems like that is the case. If that is the case, it's gonna head on up to my uh, my room and fast travel over to Saint Denis. It's rather close by, but you know, it doesn't cost anything to fast travel from our base, so to speak. I want to see more from Kira, man. But now it's got me thinking like, 
Who's gonna be next? Who's gonna be the next one to go? Now what's this? Oh, I have depth still? How much? Ah, you bugging. You bugging. All right, so how about we contribute a little bit since we are here? I'm gonna give you some items, man. Damn! Nah, you're not taking that. You can take these. Might sell that to the racist uh, fence in Saint Denis. Oh, come on. Nah, this is taking too long. Okay, listen. I donated 15 bucks. How about we do... Money? Yeah. And then increase the amount to... I don't know, dog. Hello, Mr. Smith. I think 20 is the best... Best threshold from what I read. With regards to honor. So you just want to do that multiple times if you want to get your honor up real quick. Otherwise, I was thinking of, you know what, have a couple of hundred dollars... And then, then I'll be like, yeah, dip that, motherfucker, dip that. <laughs> Alright, so, in my room. Do I want to change my outfit? Nah, I'm Gucci. Let's fast travel over to Saint Denis. Right there. Here we are, Saint Denis. That's fine, huh? That's fine Dutch. Oh. I'm just looking forward to the, you know, showdown we're gonna have with Angela Bronte as well. We have Coma Driscoll. We have we're in Lemoyne territory right now. I did not expect the Driscolls to pop out like that, man. And I still want to know how they caught Kieran slipping. Don't kill me. Bonjour. Yo, where is Dutch? Come on, dog. Out of way. Here we go. Relax. I'm not a hater. I'm a racist. I Said I'm not a hater. I'm a racist. Fucked up. I'm, I think I think they were discussing how he was caught slipping. What? Where are they though? Nope. Hey, Fellers. Morning. Just checking. Not from here. All right. So how about we peep? There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies that... and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me. 
and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's All your, your money now. Don't Not make mine. me ask twice. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. Your money. Everything. Right now. Now, I'm gonna need everything you got on you. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. Come now, why are you doing you don't this? Hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. You know what time it is, Open man. It. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got oh, you. Oh, no. That greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think? It seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. I thought you scoped this place out. Follow me, gentlemen. Ridiculous. Come on. Slow this thing down. Me? Uh, Fuck you expect me to do that? Shoot from both sides and slow this motherfucker down? The thing's broke. Hold on! If something happened to Lenny, I'ma be pissed. How many do you need? Do I have another weapon here? I don't. Phenomenal. This is not the weapon for the job. This is our chance to move. Let's go. Where's Lenny? Go. Fuck me. My shit going through him? What is this? I'm sh am I shooting blanks, my guy? What's going on? I'm emptying the clip on these guys.
Oh my god. to you mate okay, boss, let's move. I think that was that thumbnail action right there Are we good? Had it with y'all. Get on the damn wagon. On I'm on it. Go. What you want? I'm on the fucking wagon, bro. Can you please? Do you want me on the driver's seat? Oh my god, you are. You are. Ooh! Look, empty the whole. Okay. That's it. That is it. Am I out? Come on. Yo, my man, he's taking fucking bullets to the throat and he's cool. Yo, I can't aim. What is. You know. Was it worth it for 22 bucks? Ridiculous. Hold on now. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well... We made it, thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Yeah, and we each got $15. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, 
What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that. I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. You're losing your edge, Dutch. You're losing your edge. Maybe we needed Micah for this mission after all. I lost my damn hat. So what do we have? Dutch chick taking charge? That's it. I don't know why I keep going in the you know mountains and whatnot, but 165. It's a lot. Come on, fam fam. Hey there, girl. We need to see this through. Yep. You are a little dirty. But I promise I'll clean you up. Damn, that's a fair ways off, you know. Now I'm thinking, who are we gonna lose next? Lenny definitely goes. We know Escuela's not gonna go. We know Bill is not going to go. Hosea might go. That would be some shit. Pearson? Nah, he's staying for sure. Micah? I don't think they would get rid of him just yet. So the two most useless characters, I mean, I'm sorry to put it like that, Sean and Kieran, you know, minor characters, yeah. they got offed quick. So who else would be next? I hope it's not Lenny. I hope it's not Lenny. Would they... Would they get rid of Sadie right now? I don't know. Hey, what? Yo, me, mother. Don't give me a sass bell. Let's see what we got. Dutch, talk to me, man. I'm on my way, man. I need to sort my dead eye out. How do I do this? Uh, moonshine. Chewing tobacco. And let me just eat something like, uh, that would be good. More, 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 more. Salted venison. Let's go. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, ooh. Yeah, fine brandy. Take the edge off. Talk to me, Dutch. Oh, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital. 
and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. I do like mangoes. Dante stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. You know what, Hosea? I actually agree with I've you. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Grave. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Somewhat. How you doing, Lumi? You good? There you go. You're a good horse. Go on and get yourself to something to eat. Up, Arthur. Don't tell me what to do, Dutch. Okay, follow me. Lost my damn hat in this motherfucker. Get rid of. Let me get rid of that. Right there. Yeah. Tell me what you got, Dutch. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. It is about Feels sides. Like Jose Fuck off! Lost his spine. This move on Bronte. Is it for the bank job? Or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. 19, we lost so Kieran. Do respect, Dutch. Is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, but, but... When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. This feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night, we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. 
If anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. We call this ground, it feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. You got me fucked up if you think I'm going close to water. Yeah, I see that. I've seen YouTube videos on them. Eh, 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 eh. I know y'all saw that. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company? Mr. Arthur. Check the traps with. Sure, shit ain't no motherfucking Loch Ness. Search the fucking trap, dog. Check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur. Sure. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. So we got three motherfuckers looking out for one... You swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? For one I'm trap? He's... Nobody bothering you now. Look. Except for the night folks sometimes. The night folk. Yep, some strange people around these parts. Bro, y'all are fucking up. Well, this just gets better and better. Now, what's something? Come on, like I said, we need to be lively here. Nah, we're defenseless right now. You got me fucked up. We need a boat for this. Where you are. It's a gator. No fucking Just shit. As still as you can. Alright, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jules so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Like if there's a reason that Gator wasn't so interested in this, is because he might, you know, he might be snacking on jewels. Jewels might be chilling in his tummy. Check your damn trap, dog. Give a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. Today, Arthur, please. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose this can wait. Let's go.
I don't even want to check back. It takes so much time to wade through this shit. Hold up. Dutch, if you push me into the fucking alligators one more time, there are going to be repercussions and consequences to your actions, motherfucker. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Hmm. My man was like, us or them? And he was like, yes. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Ah, now you got me fucked up, bro. Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. This is where the gators went, though. I don't want to do this. I'm gonna get eaten. I'm not built for this life. Yeah, I'll need to simmer down. We should split up means we should split up three ways, motherfucker. Not Arthur go- no. Julie! Man, listen. Jules is dead and go home. Hey! Someone there? Jules! Julie! I don't see nobody. No. Over this way. What? That must be him. I see somebody. Uh, is there a reason why you're up there, sir? And is there a reason why I'm down here, sir? No shit. Tell me what you're doing, Jules. Beckon him. Hey! Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. I'm finna get out. You okay up there? See There's ya. a monster. Where? Master, they nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's up there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... Where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. What way? I got I forgot my cannon with my horse, right? Yeah, I forgot my cannon with my horse, dog. Listen, can I just at least double action? I don't want the dab. What? Be quiet. Just let me get into the skiff. to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Oh, fuck me, what? Oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. That's definitely a bad idea. Hold on now. Giant monster. <laughs> Long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple crack guns here if the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. 
It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. You gun out. No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Oh. Quick. What you gonna do, Dutch? What you gonna do, Dutch? Son of a bitch. Wait. Okay, here we go. I'm coming, bro. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do, but I'm coming, bro. If this is a joke. Uh oh. What the hell? Shit. Where'd he go? I don't know. Where'd he go? He must be close, Come on, Come on, He's dead. What's that? Yo! Who got me? I got you. Oh. <gasps> nah. This is bad. Oh, shoot something. Hurry up, Lord. This is not. Oh, God, no. Please hurry. Keep going. I can't resist. Fire up a couple of warning shots just to pretend. What the fuck was that? Shoot that shit, Dutch! Shoot it, Dutch! Dutch, that shit's bigger than your mama, Dutch! Keep shooting, Dutch! We're gonna need a bigger boat, Dutch! Is he still? What you mean? Dog, that's nuts. He's still coming. He sure is. What you mean I can't? Oh my god, look at this motherfucker right here. I should have brought my semi auto. Uh. I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Well, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be Jeez. okay. I don't know about all that. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still right. blood. You need to put pressure on it. You passed out? I would I stop the blade. I think you'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Pull it every pull it you got. No, I said both of them, bro. Why won't he? Kid. Yeah, just don't fall asleep. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. 
Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Well, thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. A bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well. Well, what? Finish your thought, man. Well, what? Well, nothing. Alright, I think this is a pretty suitable spot to call an episode. Next episode, I do believe we're gonna pay Angela Bronte a little visit. Unless... That's not what I really wanted to do, was it? Unless... Anybody else needs our help and it does not seem like that's the case. So what I'm gonna do I'll meet you guys at Lagra next episode and we're gonna pay Angela Bronte a little visit. Alright? Until then though, it's been your boy Calgary Gaming. I'm out of here. Love y'all and deuces. <laughs>